Hi, this is Gary Kay. We're here at Infocom 2017. I'm excited to be joined, as I have been for the last three or four shows in a row, joined early in the morning on the first day of the show by someone from Nareva, and this time I get the CEO and co-founder, uh, Nancy Knowlton. How are you doing this morning? Very well, Gary. Thanks for coming and seeing us early. Yeah, I'm, I appreciate being invited in here, uh, getting a sneak peek of some of the stuff. And everything that you're showing now is shipping, so that must make you feel really good. It's the first show you've been to where everything you have is shipping now, right? That's right. We feel like we've finally come out of our shell, under our rock, whatever the expression might be, we're, we're ready to go. So what uh, you've got HDL 300. I just did a great demo, which came through because I put the headphones on the microphone. It was kind of cool. Uh, you got the span. You got new updates to the span. Um, what, what is your overall objective here at Infocom 2017? Just to show the products or what else? Well, we've got three objectives. First and foremost, we want to engage with our current channel. We've got lots of people here from North America as well as internationally. First time that we've had such tremendous uh, representation from our international uh, channel. We also want to recruit new channel members. We have holes in our distribution across uh, North America in particular. And then, of course, we want to make sure that end users who are coming to look for the latest and greatest get a chance to see what we have. Yeah, well, I'm a huge, as everyone knows, I'm a huge fan of the Span product. And you've just done some recent updates to it uh, and uh, added uh, wireless sharing and uh, screen sharing uh, capabilities for everything now. And, uh, and I know that you're going to continually evolve the product, but I don't know how you can make the product much better than it already is. Oh, there's a long uh, list of things on our product roadmap. We're in about a 90-day cadence for uh, updates to the software. So that means that we already know what we're going to be working on in release eight and release nine, and that takes us really through to ISC at the beginning of the, the new year. So there, there's a lot there. And the good thing is now that those uh, requirements, those requests are coming from our end users. So we've got good insight into how we can improve the application. And we, you know, if you don't know what the SPAN system is or the HDL 300, all you have to do is go to our website, ravepubs.com. You can, you can uh, just type in the Raver or type in those product names and you'll find them. Um, but so if someone purchases a SPAN system now, do they automatically get these updates every 90 days or so? They do. It's a SaaS offering. And so when we come with a new release on July the 12th, that's the next scheduled uh, release, they'll automatically get access to it as soon as it goes live every one of our customers has it. Well, I want to ask you kind of a, a, a little broader question about the world of collaboration and sort of how this has changed things. Because you've basically, with this product, created a digital canvas, right? And you've simplified audio with the HDL 300 and, and sort of guaranteed a level of quality. Um, how do you see this market of sort of collaboration changing the industry? Um, is it going to be a slow process or is it going to happen a lot faster than people think? Well, I think there are many different flavors to collaboration. All the UCNC folks kind of define it as audio and video primarily, but with, with data, we're trying to get down to, with the Nareva SPAN system in particular, to a process-driven activity that people, whether they're in the same room or at uh, connected locations, actually undertake on a daily basis to generate new product ideas, bring new products to market, or just manage their, their business. So, I, you know, yes, it is a long process whenever you introduce a, a new product, but we're trying to address processes that people are already involved in. Yeah, and you're, you're basically dropping a product into a workflow that already exists and making the workflow a little easier. You're kind of taking an analog pro workflow and allowing it to do, allowing people to use it exactly the same way in the digital world, I think, is the way I always look at it. Yeah, I think that that's a fair characterization, but I want to add one extra element to that, and, and that is we add the digital um, facility to it that doesn't exist in the analog world, you know, live application uh, sharing and bringing things in dynamically from um, people's devices, whether they're photos or snapshots of applications or whatever. Yeah, and the connectivity to the other offices, giving them the same experience is a, is a key thing. You all have some great videos on your own website that explain the SPAN system. I think we do a decent job doing it here at trade shows, so you should check it out or go to Nareva.com, N-U-R-E-V-A.com, go to the Rave Pubs website, type on the Infocom link and you'll see all the videos we shot here at Infocom or just type in uh, Nareva and you can see all the videos we've ever shot with, uh, with you in the interviews that we've done. It's been an awesome uh, journey to go from launch to, to where we are now. I've been really excited to be part of this and I appreciate uh, being let in on some of the futuristic, future forward products that you're working on and I'm excited to see where you go in the future. Well, great. 
See us next year, Gary. Well, we'll see you at ISC for sure. Um, and uh, thanks for your time this morning. I know you're really busy. I appreciate it. So keep, keep watching. We've got a long way to go. We're just barely started the show here. Follow all of our coverage at raypubs.com slash infocom 2017.